Hi guys, this is Amalia from Crafty Dream Studio. It is spring and I am ready to switch up my decor. We're gonna do it on this easel style chalkboard. I'm going to start with my bucket transfer and I'm gonna take this off of my transfer sheet. This is my transfer. And then this is the carrier sheet and I've already written back and bucket so that I know where to place the transfer when I'm done with it. I'm going to fuzz it up to remove some of the stickiness. Okay, let's get started. All right, I want it toward the bottom, but in the center. So let's see how this lines up. Okay, just a little over. Ooh, I like how that is. There we go. So I'm going to press it down so I have very good contact. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to start off uh, with white because that's the color of the bucket that, or the color I want for my bucket. And I'm going to give this a good stir. Good. There we go. Okay. Then let me start with my... I'm going to be using my angled squeegee for this because it's a larger surface and it gets me... It lets me have good coverage. Okay. Remember, I start off at the top and then press down. And this is our chalkology paste, uh, which dries fairly quickly. So you do need to work with a little bit of swiftness. I am so excited to redecorate for spring. If you notice, I have some extra that will not go to waste. I will simply put it back in the container. And let me get a little bit more off. Put that back. All right. Let's see how this came out. Wait, I see just a little bit more I want to remove. I want nice, smooth, even coverage. Okay, ready? I'm gonna start at the corner just to get it going. And then I'm going to lift from the center. Oh, look at that. Oh, it came out gorgeous. I love it. All right, let me help this along. Oh, there we go. And then I have a container filled with water over here that I'm going to place my transfer in while I continue working. Okay, so this is a multi-layered um, project that I wanna do. I have my bucket. But now I want to be able to layer in some flowers, okay? So I have two other stencils that I wanna to use, two other transfers. We have the leaves with the stems, and then we have the flowers that go on top. If I try to put this stencil on here right now, it will lift up that white charcology paste. So what I need to do first is dry it. Okay, now you can let it air dry, or uh, if you want to speed it up, you can use a, a hair dryer or a heating tool. I have my heating tool right here. It's an embossing tool. It has a low and a high setting. I'm going to go ahead and use a high setting to speed up the drying process. I'm sorry, it's going to get a little loud. Okay, here we go.
but we need to make sure that it is good and dry so it does not get messed up when I layer the other transfers. So hopefully it won't be too long. You can kind of see the color turn, not matte, so it won't be as glossy once it dries. Oh, let's see. I still see some areas. I'm not so worried about the bottom as the top part. That's the part that I really need dry. And if you notice, I'm not leaving the heating tool in one direct spot. I'm kind of moving it around. I don't want one area to get too much heat. So I want to spread that around. Like that. So are y'all excited for spring? Are y'all redecorating? If you are, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you're doing. All right, let's see. That feels dry. I, uh, oop, that was a little wet. One more time. There we go. Hopefully that will do it. We'll find out shortly. Like I said, I'm more concerned with this top area where the other stencil is, the other transfer is going to lay. The, okay. Let's hope that was enough. I think, I think that is dry. Let's find out. All right, so once again, always right back. And I'm gonna put leaves. Oh, and I'm gonna put stems. To help me remember that that's the back side. Okay, so we are definitely going to fuzz this one up because I'm going to be putting it over the white and I want to make sure that it does not um, that it's not so sticky that it lifts okay hopefully I got it dry enough and here we go start at the corner boom easy peasy okay fuss is up Definitely gonna fuss up this bottom part right here because that's the part that's gonna be touching the white. Okay. Hopefully that did it. Now I'm gonna line this up so that it looks like these are coming straight out. Okay, here we go. I want to make sure that I don't have any bubbles on this area right here. Okay, and I'm going to be using evergreen paste for the leaves and the stems. And I'm going to mix it up until I can no longer hear that those little like Rice crispy treats, a Rice crispy popping. Nice and smooth. It does not take long at all. Okay. And I did clean off my squeegee. Oops, but I got my hands dirty. I better get that cleaned off. Although since this is Trocology paste, it can uh, wipe off with water, so it's not 
it's not a really, really big deal. Okay, here we go. All right. And let's remember I start off towards the top or a corner and then bring it down. Trying to get really good coverage. And a little bit of chalk paste goes a long way. And all the excess goes right back in the bottle. So you will be surprised how long your Charcology paste will last you because you really don't use a whole lot. Taking off the excess. Okay, here we go. Let's reveal. Hey, hold your breath for me. Make sure, <laughs> hopefully I got the um, white underneath dry enough. Okay. So like if you're doing this at home, you can, you know, let it dry, walk away, do something else. For the sake of the video, uh, I don't want to take that much time. Ooh, look at that. Yes. It came out beautiful. Oh, yes, beautiful, awesome. All right, now I have to do the exact same thing to this. I need to dry it before I can do the flowers. Okay, so it's gonna be the same process for that. But let me get this out of the way so I don't make a mess. Because I tell you, I will get my finger in that. Okay, here we go. Sorry, it'll be a little loud again. I want to make sure all the leaves and the stems are good and dry. There we go. As you, I'm moving the heat tool around, making sure I don't stay too long in one spot. Here, there we go. Looking good. All right, let's see. Let me try, let me check it. Okay, that feels dry. Oop, I think it's a little wet on this corner. The leaves and the stems came out really nice. Now, let's work on the flowers. All right, here we go. Okay, hopefully that is dry. I'm just kind of wafting it to kind of cool it off. For the flowers, they are these beautiful tulips. What I thought I would do is I would kind of do try to like an ombre effect and put a little bit of purple, a little bit of pink, and a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to prep my pastes. There we go. Oh, that's such a beautiful purple. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the roses, very, very nice. Okay, so there's my purple. I have yellow I'm going to use. This shade of yellow is the lemon yellow. I thought about using the pastel looking one, but I like the bright yellow, so I thought, mm, let's give it a try. Since I have a nice, deep, pretty purple, you have to make sure to get all in there. Oh, I just. And there we go. 
easy peasy does not take much time at all okay and then last but not least my this is called bubblegum pink yeah. there we go so mix this mixing this one up You want a nice, see, that's the consistency you want. Okay, there we go. All right, we are ready. Okay, once again, I'm gonna write back and tulips. And let's get these flowers on there. Okay. I love my nails, but sometimes <laughs> makes it a little difficult. There we go. And then it's pulled straight up. Okay. Move that aside. And let's line these up. I don't know if you can see, but there are some little stems there. And I'm going to try to line them up with the stems. Okay, here we go. Oop, I need to move it over just a little bit. Okay, like that. Let me move it down just a smidge. It is really <laughs> not that hard. It's just I'm kind of at an angle. Okay. There we go. Then I'm just going to smooth out the transfer. Make sure there are no bubbles. And let's get started. Okay, so this is our small squeegee. This is the angle squeegee. This is a small squeegee. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna be using both. I'm gonna start with, hmm, let's start with yellow. And I'm gonna apply it on this flower. And I'm gonna try to go ahead and lift the excess right now. And then use that over here on this flower. Okay. So when it's a pure color like this, if I have any extra, I will be able to put it back. But if I have any color mixing, then I won't be able to put that back into the container because I don't want to contaminate my colors. So, but there's that. And let's do this piece right here. I'll give it a little pop of yellow right there. Okay, then I'm just gonna simply clean off my squeegee. Oh, that was a disinfectant wipe. Now I'm just uh, wiping it with um, a top paper towel. Let me go ahead and get some water on there too. Okay, now, ooh, let's do some purple. Take some purple and let's do this flower here notice I started toward the bottom but kind of off the transfer and then moved it in and let's do this one too okay I'm gonna use the other side get a little bit more purple in case I got too close to that yellow. Okay, I'm gonna wipe. I'm not gonna put it back into the purple just in case I ended up getting some yellow on there. That way I don't contaminate my colors. 
Now, remember you have to work a little quickly. So I'm gonna switch over to this one to get my pink. And then I'm gonna do pink right here. Like that. And it's okay if I got a little on the yellow. And then I'm gonna, see I turn my squeegee to the other side again to make sure I don't contaminate colors. Now I'm just gonna pull the pink across. And let's see how this turns out. Hopefully, it'll be some cool color combination. Here we go. Ooh, there we go. S super pretty. Oh, I love that. Look at those tulips. Oh, they're gorgeous. So spring, just perfect. Reminds me of spring. Okay. Now I am gonna dry these. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Just a little bit. Oh, and you have to remember, close off your paste so they don't dry out, okay? So let me close that up. So what do you think? Look at that, I love it. I cannot wait to display that. Now I will be doing something on the reverse side since it's two-sided. So come back and check to see what I put on the other side. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. Have a great day or night wherever you're at.